Tazamaji hujambo popote lipo na karibu sana kwenye darubini ya channel 1 leo ikiwa ni tarehe tisa mwezi Novemba mwaka 2020. Na leo nitakuwa nikueleza baadhi ya wakenya ambao wamejipata taabani tu kwa kutofuata masharti ambayo tumekuwa tukielezwa na Wizara ya Afya ili tuweze kupambana na virusi vya COVID-19. Kuna wengine ambao wamehukumiwa kifungo gerezani. Nitakuwa nakueleza ni kifungo cha aina gani na pia tutakuwa tunaangazia ongezeko la visa vya covid-19 huko nchini mambo yamefikia wapi nina taarifa mbalimbali pia kuhusiana na masuala ya shule na elimu kwa jumla kwa hivyo keti papo hapo ulipo ni kudondole uhondo kamili lakini kwanza vionja habari Kenya yanakili visa mia saba, hamsini na vitano vipya vya maambukizi ya COVID-19 kufuatia upimaji wa sampuli 1436 katika muda wa saa 24 zilizopita. Watu 38 wahukumiwa kifungo cha miezi mitatu gerezani na mahakama ya thika baada ya kukiri kosa la kukiuka kanuni za Wizara ya Afya za kuzuia kusambaa kwa ugonjwa wa COVID-19. It's generally very basic issues uh, that has no controversy or does not disadvantage anybody in the country. It's just more about our issues that we feel needed to be highlighted and that has been well taken. Viongozi wa jamii za wafugaji wasema wataunga mkono ripoti ya mpango wa BBI wakitoa wito wa kushughulikiwa kwa masuala mbalimbali yanayohusu jamii hizo. Kwa mara nyingine tena mtazamaji karibu kwenye darubini kamili naitwa Boni Musambi na mtangazaji wangu wa ishara anaitwa Simon Karudha. Ukiniona hapa kwenye darubini unafahamu fika kwamba mwishoni nitakuwa nakupa utafiti. Watu 38 wamehukumiwa kifungo cha miezi mitatu gerezani na mahakama ya thika baada ya kukiri kosa la kukiuka kanuni zilizotolewa na Wizara ya Afya kuhusu ugonjwa wa COVID-19. Aidha Hakimu Mkazi wa Thika Oscar Wanyaga aliwataka washtakiwa kulipa faini ya shilingi 5000 au wakabiliwe na kifungo cha siku tisini gerezani. Ni katika mahakama ya thika leo asubuhi kundi hili la watu lilikamatwa katika sehemu mbali, mbali za kaunti ya Kiambu kwa kukiuka kanuni zilizotolewa na serikali kuhusu kuzuia ugonjwa wa COVID-19. Baadhi yao walikamatwa kwa kutovalia barakoa na wengine kwa kutozingatia saa za kutotoka nje. Miongoni mwao ni mama huyu aliyekuwa na mtoto mchanga ambaye hatimaye alisamehewa na hakimu mkazi Oscar Wanyaga. Washukiwa wote walikiri kosa na ukiukaji kanuni kuhusu ugonjwa wa COVID-19 na agizo la kitaifa la kutotoka nje kwa mujibu wa sheria za afya ya umma. Wakati huo huo huko Muranga Watu 23 walikamatwa miongoni mwao waendeshaji bodaboda kwa kutovalia barakoa na kukosa kuzingatia kanuni za kutokaribiana huku baa tatu zikifungwa kwa kuauzia wateja pombe kabla ya wakati unaoruhusiwa. Naibu wa Kamishna wa kaunti anayesimamia eneo la Muranga Mashariki, Vijini ya Gidumbi, alithibitisha kuwa watu wengi hawajakuwa wakitimiza kanuni za kudhibiti ugonjwa wa COVID-19, hatua ambayo imesababisha maafisa wa usalama kuchukua hatua. Leo tulikuwa tukihakikisha zile amri ambazo zilitolewa juu ya ugonjwa wa COVID-19 kila mtu amezifuata kwa hii tauni ya Muranga na sio Muranga tu pekee hata vitongoji zake Muranga East sisi kazi yetu ile kubwa si kushika watu hata ingawa tuko na watu 23 tumepeleka polisi tuko namba tatu ambazo tumekuta zikikeuka sheria na wote tumewapeleka polisi na zile mbaa zilikuwa hazifuati sheria hatutazirundishia license tena alisema msako huo utaendelea hadi janga hilo lidhibitiwe kwa hivyo la muhimu ni sisi wenyewe kama administrators tukishirikiana na national police service kuendeleza hii msako na kuwaelimisha hasa umuhimu wa, wa kuangalia eh, hii sheria hizi sheria nikiripotia darubini mimi ni Ben Troy Njue Viongozi wa jamii za wafugaji wamesema wataunga mkono ripoti ya mpango wa maridhiano ya BBI. 
viongozi hao ambao waliyasema hayo baada ya kukutana na aliyekuwa waziri mkuu Raila Odinga waliongeza kwamba taarifa walizotoa wakati wa vikao vya kukusanya maoni kutoka kwa wananchi zilizohusisha ugawaji sawa wa rasilimali na kulindwa kwa ardhi ya jamii za wafugaji zitashughulikiwa. Raila alisema kamati ya watu watatu itabuniwa ili kushiriki kwenye kamati ili kushughulikia mapengo yaliyoibuliwa na viongozi hao. Viongozi kutoka kaunti za wafugaji wa kuhamahama wamekariri kwamba wataunga mkono ripoti ya mpango wa maridhiano BBI. Haya yamejiri baada ya mkutano wa mashauriano baina ya viongozi wa eneo la kaskazini ya nchi na aliyekuwa waziri mkuu Raila Odinga katika hoteli moja jijini Nairobi. Pastoralists support PPG. The entire, sorry, sorry, BBI. The entire region. It's generally very basic issues uh, that has no controversy or does not disadvantage anybody in the country. It's just more about our issues that we feel needed to be highlighted and that has been well taken. Raila alisema kamati ya watu watatu itabuniwa ili kushughulikia masuala yanayoibuliwa na viongozi hao kabla ya kutekelezwa kwa ripoti ya BBI. We have had a very cordial conversation with these representatives. This was the fourth meeting we've been having with them. And there is a quite an agreement of many issues. Raila anasema ripoti hiyo inanuia kukomesha ubaguzi wa kihistoria kwa kufungua uwezo wa kiuchumi wa eneo la kaskazini ya nchi at no time did the governors give me any kind of ultimatum mm. and i don't know where the media got this impression that I was given any ultimatum i was not given any ultimatum by the governors viongozi hao walisema wako tayari kuunga hati hiyo iwapo masuala kama vile kulinda ardhi ya jamii hiyo ugawaji wa mapato hazina ya usawishaji na kubuniwa kwa halmashauri ya uuzaji wa mifugo yatashughulikiwa This document is meant to deal with the critical issues affecting our country Irene Mchuma Odim Darubini ya Channel 1 katika kaunti ya Nairobi Tazamaji Kenya leo imenakili visa 756 vipya vya maambukizi ya virusi vya corona kutokana na sampuli 1000 1316 zilizopimwa katika muda wa saa 24. Wagonjwa wengine 19 wamefariki kutokana na ugonjwa wa COVID-19 katika kipindi hicho na kufikisha 1130 jumla ya watu waliofariki kutokana na ugonjwa huo hapa nchini. Jumla ya visa vya maambukizi hapa nchini hadi sasa ni 1063 244 visa hivyo vipya vimejiri huku juhudi zikiendelea katika kaunti ya Migori za kuwasaka waliotangamana na mhudumu mmoja wa afya ambaye awali alitoroka kutoka kituo cha kutengea waathiriwa wa virusi vya corona baada ya kudhibitishwa kuwa na virusi hivyo Siku ya 239 tangu kisa cha kwanza cha maambukizi ya virusi vya corona kuripotiwa humu nchini watu 756 wengine wamethibitishwa kuwa na virusi hivyo kutoka kwa sampuli 1416 zilizopimwa katika kipindi cha saa 24 kwa sasa jumla ya visa vya maambukizi vilivyothibitishwa humu nchini ni 1063244 kaunti ya Nairobi ingali naongoza kwa visa huku ikinakili visa 371 kati ya visa vyote 756 vilivyoripotiwa leo na kufuatiwa na Mombasa kwa visa 82 Wagonjwa wengine 19 wameaga dunia kutokana na virusi hivyo na kufikisha 1130 jumla ya watu waliofariki kutokana na virusi hivyo humu nchini. Watu 728 wamepona ambapo 645 kati yao walikuwa wakihudumiwa nyumbani huku 83 wakiruhusiwa kuondoka hospitalini. Jumla ya watu waliopona kufikia sasa ni 1042659. Kwa sasa kuna wagonjwa 1331 waliolazwa katika vituo mbalimbali vya afya humu nchini ambapo 59 kati yao wamo kwenye vyumba vya wagonjwa mahututi huku 16 wakiwa kwenye vyumba vya matibabu maalum. Katika kaunti ya Migori maafisa wanajaribu kumtafuta mhudumu wa afya aliyeripotiwa kutoroka kutoka kituo cha kutengea waathiriwa wa virusi vya corona ambapo alikuwa ametengewa kwa kuhofia unyanyapaa baada ya kuthibitishwa kuwa na virusi hivyo. Inasemekana mhudumu huyo mwenye umri wa miaka 38 alitoroka kutoka hospitali ya kaunti ndogo ya Makalda ambayo ni kituo cha kutengea waathiriwa wa corona katika kaunti ya Migori na kuelekea nyumbani kwao katika kaunti ndogo ya Nyatike. 
Hata hivyo baadaye alitafutwa na kurejeshwa katika kituo hicho huku maafisa wakianza kuwasaka wale waliotangamana naye. Ukisikia ati fulani yako na corona that does not mean that the guy is going to die. We have seen also a lot of uh, uh, cases that have recovered, isn't it? So any form of discrimination watch at work kando kidogo. We been engaging the community our public health officers will be offering psychosocial support so that we accept the it is. And so far, I want to report that a number of people have been evacuated to a treatment center. They are all asymptomatic, so there's no cause for alarm. Kam Chimenza, Darubini at Channel 1. Tazamaji naona baadhi ya maoni yanayotumwa katika Twitter ni kusiana na ile taarifa ya wakenya waliokamatwa baada ya kupuuza E, hatua za kukabiliana na covid-19 e, nimeona wengi kama vile wanjala Douglas katika Twitter Faristo Muganda kina Musombi Silvana Somoro na kina Bash Bashash wakisema jamani wa Kenya tukiambua tuvae barakoa tuvae vile vile kuna msanii hapa anaitwa e, Eliwan ambaye pia ameandika kwamba tafadhali wa Kenya tumeimba nyimbo za covid-19 na bado hamtaki kuvaa barakoa tuvae barakoa maoni sawa na haya yametolewa na Chief Inspector Shem Nyamoko ambaye pia anatoa wito kwa wananchi waendelee kuvaa barakoa. Mimi ningekuwa nimeivaa kama sio kukusomea darubini lakini pia nataka usikie maneno vizuri ndio maana sijaivaa. Narejea baada ya muda mfupi. Nations brings us home to another exciting qualifier where Harambe Stars host the Colasantes of Comoros Wednesday, the 11th of November at Kasarani. And that goal! And it is a goal! Coming on exactly 34 minutes, Johanna Omolo. Watch it live and exclusive on KBC Channel 1 at 7 p.m. as we continue to showcase Africa's based on your true sports partner. Tonight on KBC Channel One. Maxi! <laughs> Don't stop for anything! Mother, I want you to know that Juana will be taking care of you for a while. Oh, that's great. I'm so glad to hear it. The less I see of Fanny, the better. Please don't go. Don't leave me. Think about it. Where is Fabiola? Oh. Uh, no, she's not here. She told you very clearly that I needed information about Ramon that I could use to make him stay here. But you haven't delivered, Dahlia! How can you allow this? Why? Because... Why? El paraíso In love with Ramon. Karibu mtazamaji katika awamu ya pili ya Darubini ya Channel 1. Aliyekuwa mbunge wa Arusha Aban nchini Tanzania, God bless Lema, ameachiliwa kutoka korokoro za polisi katika kaunti ya Kajiado bila masharti yoyote. Lema alikesha usiku kucha katika kituo cha polisi cha Kajiado kwenye kaunti ya Kajiado baada ya kukamatwa na maafisa wa Kenya katika sehemu ya Ibisil kwenye barabara ya Namanga. Inasemekana Lema amesema hataki kurejeshwa nchini Tanzania akisema anahofia maisha yake. Mbunge huyo anaondoka wa eneo bunge la Arusha Aban God bless Lema amepewa idhini ya kukaa humu nchini chini ya mpango wa hifadhi. Haya ni kwa mujibu wa wakili wake George Lushiri Wajakoya. Lema alikuwa ameingia humu nchini kutafuta hifadhi ya kisiasa akidai kwamba maisha yake yamo hatarini. Akiandamana na mkewe na watoto wake Lema alisema tayari alikuwa amewasiliana na shirika la UNHCR kitafuta hifadhi. Kwa mtu anikimbia kuuawa ama kuteswa ama kuzalishwa ama kupigwa sheria za kimataifa ziko wazi mtu huyo uwezo kumrudisha na kukimbia sheria za kimataifa ziko wazi nafikiri Kenya ni watu wameendelea katika sheria zaidi na ni watu wameendelea katika demokrasia naamini kwamba kutakuwa na na mwelekeo mzuri akipuzi ya mbali marai kwamba yeye ni mhalifu anayetoroka kukwepa haki lema alisema na hofia maisha yake na yale ya jamaa zake kutokana na msimamo wake wa kisiasa kimbilia Kenya kutafuta hifadhi ya maisha yangu sio kwa sababu nimekimbia njaa ama nimekimekosa chakula 
lakini maisha yangu na familia yangu yamekuwa bora sana kwa wakati huu lakini sikifikiri kuondoka nyumbani milele kwa sababu ya mambo ambayo yanaendelea wakili wake George Lushiri Wajakoya alisema kwa mteja wake yumo mikononi mwa shirika la UNHCR baada ya kuachiliwa kutoka kwenye kituo cha polisi cha Kajado the family is safe i took them yesterday i whisked, I whisked the mother the wife and the four children into proper custody and i've now handed them over to UNCHR so they are safe Masaibu ya mwanasiasa huyo kutoka Tanzania yanatokana na msako dhidi ya viongozi wa pinzani nchini Tanzania wiki moja baada ya Rais John Pombe Magufuli kuapishwa kwa hatamu ya pili ya miaka mitano. Suleiman Yeri Darubini ya Channel 1. Tazamaji magavana wanaume wamepinga mapendekezo yaliyo kwenye ripoti ya mpango wa maridhiano ya BBI kwamba wanawake wateuliwe kuwa manaibu katika kinyang'anyiro cha ugavana. Magavana hao wa kiume waliokariri kwamba wanawake wanafaa kupewa fursa ya kushindana na wenzao wa kiume kwa usawa. Walionya kwamba hatua hiyo ya ripoti ya BBI haina usawa na ni ya kiimla na haiambatani na katiba. That is a, a very very big misconception. We have had in this country very very powerful women who have fought and uh, succeeded in obtaining various seats, maybe parliamentary, even the Senate uh, uh, and the governors. So I think we must not go back uh, on, on the gains that we have, uh, we, we have seen as a country. It would be very good because you start building the women capacity and they also start to learn you know, how to run for office and they will go with you so that you kind of share the strength that you have and make sure that a woman running with you can then both of you can get elected. So, so long as the one is shall consider, I don't see any problem with it. And because he's saying as far as possible, you know, think, think deeply before you make your decision. Mkewe governor wa county ya Kisumu Dorothy Nyongo amezindua kampeni ya kuimarisha ulaji wa mboga za kiasili katika harakati za kupunguza visa vya saratani miongoni mwa jamii za eneo hilo. Bi Nyongo alisisitiza haja kwa wagonjwa wa saratani kula vyakula vya kiasili vilivyo na vir, eh, virutubishi ambavyo ni muhimu kwa afya ya bin Adam. Kwa hizi na habari nyingine tazama kukusanyiko wetu taarifa za magatuzi. Dorothy Nyongo amewataka wakazi kumakinika na kula vyakula vya jadi ambapo alitambua ushirikiano na mashirika kadha pamoja na klabu cha Lottery kusaidia wagonjwa wa saratani wakati huu wa janga la corona. Alisema kuwa baadhi ya vyakula wanavyovila vinaweza kuwa na sumu kwa mili yao. Alitaka mboga za kienyeji kama mchicha, ododo kati ya nyingine ambazo zinafaa sana kwa wagonjwa wa saratani. And Rotary uh, came on board to help us to uh, run with this campaign called Food for Good. So today we are managing to uh, feed uh, 50 households uh, you know for uh, at least a month and we hope to continue this initiative. Na chama cha walimu cha Kupet tawi la kaunti ya Wasingishu kinamtaka waziri wa elimu Profesa George Magoha kuomba msamaha kwa madai ya kumhangaisha afisa mmoja wa elimu katika kaunti hiyo wiki iliyopita. Katibu mkuu wa Kupet tawi la kaunti hiyo Elijah Maio alisema matamshi yaliyotolewa na Magoha katika shule ya msingi ya Langas wakati wa ziara yake kumdhalilisha afisa huyo. Sana ambalo tunaona kweli kabisa mimi binafsi na kwani hapa walimu tunakashifu na tunauliza profesa aombe msamaha kuna rubles eh, ambazo zinatoka kwa ujenzi zinachotwa zikiwekwa kando na hii ni kazi ambayo inaelekea kila siku so wakati ule kazi hiyo ilikuwa inaendelea Kwingineko chifu mmoja katika kaunti ya Pokot Magharibi ameanzisha juhudi za kutoa uhamasisho kuhusu hatua za kuzuia kuenea kwa janga la COVID-19 Wakazi wengi katika maeneo ya mashinani katika kaunti hiyo hawafahamu kuhusu utumiaji wa barakoa. 
chifu wa eneo la Weiwei Matayo Rono amekuwa akitembea katika masoko ya eneo hilo akiwahamasisha wenyeji kuhusu hatua za kujikinga dhidi ya COVID-19. Wote wanataka wafanye hivyo. Kama ni Ortum, Kabereria, Kapenguria kila mahali wafanye hivyo kwa maana tukichungwa namna hiyo hakuna vile corona itaweza ingia West Pokot. Pia naongeza na mafundisho tunafunza hawa umuhimu ya kuvaa hii kitu kwa sababu bila kuvunza hata jua kwamba anafaa kwa sababu gani kwa hivyo tumesoyana na hawa na wananisikiliza ndio una ukiona hakuna karibu 100% kila mmoja anavaa barakoa Hatimaye kiongozi wa walio wengi katika bunge la kaunti ya Nairobi Abdi Guyo amewashtumu viongozi waliochaguliwa katika kaunti yake ya Isiolo kwa kukosa kuungana ili kuhakikisha wakazi wanapata huduma. Guyo alisema kwamba mizozo isiyokoma baina ya gavana Mohamed Kuti dhidi ya viongozi wengine waliochaguliwa katika bunge la kitaifa na seneti inatatiza maendeleo. Biashara sasa kisha spoti alafu tumalizie na utafiti mtazamaji wa kazi wa eneo la jiji la Nairobi wanatarajiwa kufurahia huduma bora zaidi za uchukuzi wa treni kufuatia kukarabatiwa na kuimarishwa kwa reli ya Nairobi ukarabati huo ni miongoni mwa juhudi za serikali za kushughulikia tatizo la misongamano ya magari katika jiji kuu reli hiyo ya kisasa itazinduliwa rasmi hivi karibuni kwa hizi na habari nyingine fuatilia mkusanyiko wetu wa taarifa za biashara Misongamano ya magari imekuwa changamoto kubwa katika miji mikuu nchini huku ikisababisha hasara ya takriban shilingi milioni ya msini kila siku kwenye barabara za humu nchini. Serikali kupitia mradi wa maendeleo wa halmashauri ya ustawi wa eneo la jiji la Nairobi inanuia kukomesha msongamano barabarani kupitia kuimarishwa kwa huduma za treni za abiria. This is one way which will greatly uh, reduce traffic jam. Remember right now there are some inconveniences people have to take uh, matatu from Soikimau into CBD. Wakati huo kampuni ya Safaricom imeripoti kwamba kiwango chake cha faida kimepungua kwa mara ya kwanza kwa ni hatua ya serikali za kupunguza gharama ya maisha kufuatia janga la COVID-19 zikiadhiri mapato ya kampuni hiyo. Afisa mkuu wa kampuni hiyo Peter Ndegwa alisema kuwa faida hiyo imepungua kutokana na kupungua kwa mapato yanayotokana na huduma za Mpesa baada ya serikali kuvutilia mbali ada za kutuma takriban shilingi elfu moja. Kwingineko Benki ya Access imeanzisha rasmi shughuli humu nchini ikitumai kunufaika kutokana na huduma za kutuma na kupokea pesa kwa njia ya simu na kutekeleza huduma hizo kwenye masoko mengine barani Afrika. Meneja wa Benki ya Access humu nchini David Daluko anaamini kuwa utekelezaji shughuli zake humu nchini pia kitaipa fursa maridhawa za kibiashara kwa wateja na bidhaa zenye ushindani. We unveil our digital services to the people Uh, we believe that we, sh- we are in the position to bring in more people into the, in the formal banking system. Na hatimaye kampuni ya kibinafsi ya kiusalama pamoja na kampuni ya Town Connect zimeanzisha mpango wa digitali katika juhudi za kuimarisha usalama wa majengo ya kibiashara na makazi na kuwawezesha zaidi ya maafisa laki saba usalama kote nchini kutekeleza jukumu muhimu katika vita dhidi ya ugonjwa COVID-19. Mpango huo kwa jina Hodi Hodi utaimarisha usalama wa wakazi na wapangaji kwa kutumia mfumo wa digitali katika taratibu za kuwashughulikia wageni na unatumia teknolojia isiyohusisha utangamano wa moja kwa moja kubaini na kuripoti visa vinavyoweza kuwa vya maambukizi ya COVID-19. Due to these challenges which are coming over, we need to talk about technology. We have been analog for quite some time and it is this a uh, high time we move from analog to digital
The road to the 2021 Africa Cup of Nations brings us home to another exciting qualifier where Arambe Stars host the Colasantes of Comoros on Wednesday, the 11th of November at Kasarani. Watch it live and exclusive on KBC Channel 1 at 7 p.m. as we continue to showcase Africa's based on your true sports partner. Betika proudly brings you Kenya vs. Comoros Afcon qualifier live on KBC Channel 1. karibu sasa katika spoti ambapo wachezaji saba wa kulipwa wamejumuishwa katika timu ya taifa ya mchezo wa mpira wa kikapu itakayowakilisha Kenya katika mechi za kufuzu kwa mashindano ya mchezo huo barani Afrika jijini Chigali Rwanda baina ya tarehe 26 na 29 mwezi huu timu hiyo ya wachezaji 17 iliyotajwa leo na kinara wa shirikisho la mchezo huo humu nchini Paul Otula pia inashirikisha wachezaji 11 wanaochezea timu za humu nchini Timu hiyo ya humu chini imejumuishwa katika kundi ba pamoja na Angola, Senegali na Msumbiji na itachuana na Senegali katika mechi yao ya ufunguzi. Kenya ilifuzu kwa mashano hayo baada ya kushinda mechi za kufuzu za kanda ya tano barani Afrika zilizo hapa Nairobi mwezi Januari. Raundi ya pili ya mashano hayo itaandaliwa mwezi Februari. Timu tatu bora katika kundi hilo zitafuzu kwa mashindano ya kuania kombe la bara Afrika ya takuandaliwa nchini Chigali mwaka ujao. Timu ya taifa ya soka Rambi Stars itakosa huduma za mshambulizi Michael Olunga engineer na nahodha Victor Mugubi Wanyama wakati itakapochuana na Comoros katika mechi ya kufuzu kwa fainali za kombe la bara Afrika Jumatano hii hapa mjini Nairobi wachezaji hao hawatashiriki katika mechi hiyo kutokana na kanuni za kudhibiti kuenea kwa virusi vya corona katika nchi zao wanakochezea Wanyama ambaye huchezea timu ya Montreal Impact nchini Canada na Olunga ambaye huchezea timu ya Kashiwa Rizol nchini Japan walikuwa miongoni mwa wachezaji wa kulipo ambao walikuwa wameitwa kushiriki katika mechi hiyo Kenya inajitafutia ushindi wao wa kwanza katika kundi G baada ya kutoka sare ya bao moja kwa moja dhidi ya Misri na Togo kwenye mechi mbili za mwanzo kundini. Tazamaji kuna tarifa ya mwisho ya spoti ilikuwa ya Arsenal lakini uh, mwelekezi kijana Amos amekataa ikisomwa nafikiri yeye ni wa Arsenal lakini ni kwamba jana ililimwa na Arsenal bila magoli <laughs> Nam karibu katika utafiti mtazamaji na huyu hapa ni rais mteule wa Marekani Joe Biden Joe Biden ana mengi ambayo watu hawafahamu nikutajie moja leo Joe Biden unayemwona hapo Alikuwa na wakati mgumu sana mwaka 1972 ndio mwaka wake mbaya zaidi. Kwa sababu mwaka huu alimpoteza mke wake Neilia pamoja na bintiye Naomi katika ajali mbaya sana ya barabarani na katika gari hilo ambalo lilipata ajali kulikuwa na wanae wawili pia Biu na Hunter lakini hawakuaga dunia. Hata hivyo mwanae eh, kifungwa mimba Biu aliaga dunia baadaye mwaka 2015 kutokana na saratani ya ubongo. Kwa hivyo amekuwa na ile ambayo kwa kimombo anaita tragedy katika familia. Lakini amevumilia yote haya tazama alipo. Kuna mengi zaidi kumhusu Joe Biden mtazamaji. Nitafungia hapo kwa leo. Nitakwambia mengine mengi zaidi kesho panapo majaleo yake Mwenyezi Mungu. Naitwa Boni Musambi na shukuru sana kwa kuwa pamoja nami sasa na kuaga nikikuachia utabiri wa hali ya hewa. Mimi uh, naondoka nikutane nawe kesho mtangazaji wangu wa ishara anaitwa Simon Karuda. Kwa heri. Shukran sana mtazamaji kwa kujiunga nami tena kwenye utabiri wa hali ya hewa katika muda wa saa 24 zijazo. Hujambo na karibu jina langu ni Tilio Marco. Mji wa Kericho ndio baridi zaidi. 
viwango vya joto vitashuka hadi nyuzi na moja wakati huo huo maeneo mengi ya nchi leo usiku kuna tarajiwa kuwa na mvua na itakapotimu kesho asubuhi ni kwamba mvua itakayopisha vipindi vya jua na tarajiwa katika maeneo mengi ya nchi maeneo ya kaskazini mashariki maeneo ya Mandera Garissa Wajia na vile vile Marsabit kuna tarajiwa kuwa na mvua na kupisha vipindi vya jua hali sawia na tarajiwa katika maeneo ya Kisumu Kericho na Kuru Kakamega na vile vile Eldoret mwambao wa pwani kutakuwa na rasharasha za mvua na kupisha vipindi vya jua na itakapotimu majira ya lasiri ni kwamba rasharasha za mvua na ngurumo za radi zinatarajiwa katika maeneo ya Kisi, Kericho, Kakamega na Kuru na vile vile Eldoret mwambao wa pwani kutakuwa na rasharasha za mvua na kupisha vipindi vya jua tukiangazia viwango vya joto ni kwamba joto litafikia nyuzi 32 katika maeneo ya Lodwa kaunti ya Mandera itanakili kati ya nyuzi 31 na 23 kaunti ya Nairobi itakuwa kati ya nyuzi 24 na 15 hadi hapo mtazamaji nimehitimisha utabiri wa hali ya hewa kwa sasa hadi wakati mwingine na kuacha na utabiri wa hali ya hewa katika maeneo mengine duniani kwa heri ya kuonana Vera Beauty and Fashion College with branches in Nairobi, Eldoret, Thika and Meru. Did you know that we are a Tibet approved institution? We offer courses in fashion design, interior design in soft furnishing, event decoration, flower arrangement, event planning, hairdressing, barbering and dreadlocks, beauty therapy, makeup, nail technology, spa massages, teaching skills, TOT, solo business management and many more. Register now and visit our website on www.verabeautycollege.com. You can also call on 0725-923-550 Nairobi branch, 0728-087-689 Eldoret branch, 0722-227428 Thicker branch, 0725-000 706 Meru Branch, Vera Beauty and Fashion College, a TVET approved institution. Moharata Food Limited manufacturers supplies and installs a variety of agri machinery, including Mudokoi and maize hullers, vertical and horizontal mixers, maize sheller, and grain threshers. We also manufacture electric and diesel portion mill small and large silage choppers, cold oil press, hay shredders, roll mill and sifted mill, crusher, and many more. For more information, call us on 0735-597-509 or 0706-618-847 in Nairobi or 0751-750-885 or 041-223-0332 in Mombasa. Muharata Food Company Limited. Our 35 years experience, your guarantee, this weekend on KBC Channel 1. This week on Wake Up and Make Up, it's going to be a girly girl affair. Cheers. Cheers! We continue to munch on what I would call a starter before our main course at Chef Wood Sushi Bar. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is what makes the coffee so special. We actually have a real gold leaf. Wow. Uh, I don't think we should drink it. We should probably gather it and take, <laughs> take, 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 take it to the <laughs> <take. laughs> <laughs> We can make a cargo. Get some tips on how to enjoy a day's out with the girls.
You're just in time for breakfast. I'm not that hungry. What am I going to do with all this food? You shouldn't have. I have a busy day, I'm sorry. Don't leave. I want to talk to both of you. I went to see Wanjala at his new place. I apologized to him. And now I'd like to apologize to both of you. You apologized? What did he say? How did he react? I'm trying to talk about us. Does it matter? Yes. It matters what Wanjala said. He was polite, but really, I think a big part of him has moved on. I could have easily told you that. It's not just Mom, Pamela. He's left the gym and most likely won't come back. I could have easily told you that too. I'm trying. Well, it's a little too late, isn't it? You know, I wonder what Dad would have to say about all this. <sighs> Wait, he abandoned Ranjala too. Stop it, Pamela. Do you think a guilt trip is going to help right now? It's fine, Julia. I'll take responsibility for my actions. He won't be angry at you forever, Mom. There just wasn't any anger. It's like none of this means anything anymore. Hmm. Why are you hiding from me? This is the Jivita. Na kwa nini umeketi hapa? Jimmy, kwa nini umefanya nini? Na punga hewa safi mwanamke. Well, that's a fast. Siwe ndio huwa unahofia afya yangu. Nafanya kitu kuihusu. Ulikuja kulala jana kama umechelewa. Sababu ilikuwa ni? Nilikuwa naangalia vitabu za gym. Julia alisema to review strategy yetu. Naweza kukusaidia. It is so boring. Julia alikutrustia vitabu zake. Kwani amnishia yake imerudi? Ni nini umeandalia breakfast? Ida kubidi uingie ndani ndio uone. Ah ah, au utaenda kuzisoma over breakfast. That is rude. Wacha tu niende nazo. Ndiyo nisije nikazisahau nikienda kazini. 